Hey YouTube, this your boy Timmer from Credit Kingdom with another video, well my first video, I believe of 2024. We're three months in and I just wanna say, I appreciate you all and I thank you all for still liking and supporting the channel, even sharing the video as well. Uh, even though I haven't posted in a while, I really do appreciate that from you all. And I just wanna say, I haven't really been posting anymore because a lot of things have changed in this credit space, such as, you know, fixing, your personal credit and you all gotta think and know that when we as the people start catching on and we start you know getting results from the things that we do you know the people in charge and people who dictate everything began to change it and restructure everything and so i began to you know restudy and gain new knowledge and information so i can come back and share this information with you all so today's video i'm going to be teaching you all how to delete inquiries off your credit report within 24 hours I know you all may have been saying this, like seeing different videos on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram on how to do this. And I just want to let you all know this. I mean, it's really simple and it's easy and you pretty much can do it yourself. You just got to take the time out to, you know, call the credit bureau, such as Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. And either you can, you know, set up a free account and you can, I don't think TransUnion, you can, you can only do it for Equifax and Experian. Um, the online disputes with, with that as well. So the first step that you want to be aware of when trying to remove the inquiries off your credit report is that you got to be familiar with a hard inquiry and a soft inquiry. So a hard inquiry is when you actually go apply for something or someone else use your identity, you know, try to apply for a credit card, a house, an apartment, you know, a loan, and the, the lender will actually run a hard inquiry, hard inquiry on your credit profile, which would pretty much knock your credit down maybe like two to five points, depending on you know what you're trying to get. If you have more than five inquiries on each credit bureau, that looks like you pretty much, you know, you are struggling and you're thirsty to obtain credit. You are in a um, bad spot financially. You don't have any cash. You're just desperately searching for credit. And that's why you don't want to have more than five inquiries per bureau. And, and keep in mind too, a soft inquiry is you know when you do a pre-approval for like any application such as like i said before credit card pre-approval a mortgage pre-approval uh, a loan pre-approval and another scheme and another trick that these lenders and creditors play is that you may apply for like let's say it was a credit card pre-approval credit card so let's say you say you've been approved for five thousand dollars so you're like hmm, okay i can get this five thousand dollars and then they say in order to continue this application this is going to be a hard inquiry pull on your credit report. And so you just go along with it. Like, I'm going to get 5000 anyway. So I know how to get the hard inquiry removed before before the account hit my credit profile. So that, that a win-win. That's a win-win for me. So what typically will happen is that when your credit is not, you know, really in place and you go apply for that um, credit card and you get that hard inquiry, they may not even, they may not even give you the 5000 They may only give you like... 1500 or a thousand and you like doing? making a video and say hey youtube can't see you say hey hey <laughs> so they might may not even give you the full amount um on the credit card and so you like now you just no, you well, baffle, you're trying mean. to figure out but you know what's going on um uh, with the situation that, that, that they didn't make a video I'll be in there in a minute. <laughs> uh, that can be tricky with the, that's another thing with the pre-approval. So back with the inquiry, say like you have all these inquiries and you can't get approved for anything else and you're trying to get the inquiry moved because the things you was applying for, trying to get, you, you, you didn't, you know, get approved for them. So now you got the inquiries on your credit report and it's really, you know, hurting you financially. So what you can do like I said, you can call TransUnion, Experian, or Equifax. And be sure, keep in mind, the best time to call them is when they're about to, you know, shut down for the day. Because they are in a rush. They want to go home. They're tired. They're hungry. So they, they just want to just get you out the way. So they may just, you tell them your situation. Like, hey, um, I received a copy of my credit report. And I noticed um, on authorized inquiry that I didn't authorize um, or apply for these things. And say, hey, these not open. These not um, not connect to any open account. I don't recall Jesus, applying for anything. Uh, I don't re recall applying for any of this. So 
on the and you got to make them aware that on the federal law the fair credit reporting act title 15 usc 1681a on uh, depending on which which law you want to use the uh, fair credit reporting act but the best one to get results is that 15 usc 1681a um that the consumer reporting agency such as spear and train Equifax, must be you know precisely and accurate your credit report must be accurate and fair so it can't be no inaccuracies and so by these unorthodox entry reporting to your credit profile that's showing an accuracy so they need to get deleted immediately off your credit profile and you want to be sure you, you're not disrespecting these people because like i said they may deal with rude people harsh people all day every day and you just want to be you know nice to them that's how they day was how they day is how's the weather you know and keep it simple and so and another method that you can use uh, to get the inquiries removed is just like i said you can do a, a dispute letter um as well you can use chat gpt which i found to be the easiest um that you can tell chat gpt to write you a dispute letter um to get hard entries removed off your credit profile with these search with these credit bureaus and it is you know pretty much type you a, a quick letter letter template within a few seconds it'll be done and you can just pretty much say that as a pdf and you can upload it to experian or equifax and the thing with experian when you uploading um it's a, it's experian slash upload they give you five documents to upload and i found that by using experience slash upload you get better results rather than signing into your experience account and going to the dispute center um, and doing it that way and with equifax it's pretty much the same you just log into your equifax and you go to their dispute center help center and you just upload your letter in there as well as a pdf and be sure to add your id um maybe your social security card and maybe a proof of your address so they can know that it's you and you can keep that on file um as your record that you actually did you know submit submit these items to them to get these negative items removed off your credit and back to the phone call conversation when you're talking to these people they may ask you did you submit an ftc slash police report um and do not tell these people no tell them that you did that and they may ask you, did you talk to original credit? And tell them that you talked to them as well. And they said, hey, I had to contact you all um, to even get these items removed because they see this unverified as well. And it's not showing on their end. And once they, they may tell you, hold on for a second and don't panic and say, oh, oh, I did something wrong or I didn't do this right. Or they finna say, I can't. These inquiries must stay on my file for two years. and." That's why I tell you, you gotta make make them be aware that you know exactly what you're talking about when it comes to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And, Cause they are gonna try to play games with you. And once they tell you to hold on, they may tell you, hey, it's gonna take 30 to 60 days for these items to get deleted off your credit. In which they just say that just to maybe discourage you from trying to, you know, dispute again. But really, it's gonna be gone within. They just angry, it's gonna be gone within like 24 hours. So, and another thing too, if you are sending these items uh, through the mail, don't use the address that you see online because those addresses, no real human is gonna see those. Them like they, them like addresses where everything get ran through like uh, AI, um, an AI system, artificial intelligence. So the letters getting sent through these machines and it's just sending code back and forth to the creditor, to the credit bureau. And to get that real address, you must have, um, I can get to that, but uh, yeah, to get to their real addresses, you can go to the CFPB or the ADR uh, website and you can type in Experian Transhuman Equifax and it will show you the exact address to send your items to. And once you look at the address, you, hmm, these, it's not, I never seen these addresses before. And that's how you get real results because um, the actual Hermes are looking at your dispute letter because these are their headquarters addresses where people actually are working in them and it's not someone that's in any or someone in jamaica of that nature also keep in mind um, when you are removing the inquiries off your credit profile do not ever in life you know try to remove an inquiry that's connected to an open account so for example if you have a chase or american express or capital one credit one 
uh, a Navy Federal, any account that you have as far as a credit card account, and you try to dispute and remove that inquiry, um, when you have an account that you, you currently using, they will they will actually close your account because they will think it's um, fraud and an identity theft um, for that credit card. So they actually will shut your card down. Um, so don't ever dispute or try to remove an inquiry that's connected to an open account. And I will show you all how to remove an inquiry um, for an account that you have open, but you can remove it before even report to your credit profile. Uh, so that's another gem I have to share with you all as well. And so, like I said, thank you all. And I will be adding um, in the description a, um, a example of an inquiry dispute letter that you all can use. So always, you can customize it to your own um, as well. This just to give you an idea how it should look. Because um, I will be using ChatGPT and I will add that letter in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you all have any questions or concerns, be sure to hit me up on this YouTube channel, Credit Kingdom, uh, in the comments or send me a message either through my business Facebook page, Credit Kingdom. I will actually put that in the description below as well. And I'm currently doing some reconstruction to my website too. So feel free to contact me if you have any more questions or concerns.